So, I'm starting this day just outside of Santa Fe uh, because in the morning I was really, it was really getting on my nerves that I couldn't start the day early. It's already again 11 o'clock and I wanted to go um, out at 9 o'clock but it, well, it didn't happen at all. And well, yeah, now we're here and yeah, we need to push through because the next village is like in 20 kilometers so we need to get there before uh, before two to get something to eat so we have this little problem here that the road we are going is just this big road where the uh, cars are really fast and we are now looking if there are any alternatives but it just seems it's the only way so yeah we are not quite happy about that my plan just totally failed there's no way I can skate on this pavement here so I need to take the big road and yeah. no other possibilities for me now I think we just found a way um, away from the big road and I don't know how long it will uh, last but it's really nice it's like this little road with no cars and a little river down here so yeah I quite liking it because you don't have the cars passing by and it's shady and it's really nice. We could ride the light waves together ignore all the sound waves. How do we get, how do we get so brave? How do we get, how do we get so brave? And we Today is by far the most dangerous day. We are here in a beautiful landscape. Look around, it's amazing. And I would really love to try my car here. I mean, the roads are beautiful, they're perfect to, I don't know, on a holiday, get your nice car out and take a ride. But on a longboard, it's, it's crazy because all the, all the cars are going like 100 and you have like no space to be on the right, you have no space so that just come through or just wait. I don't know. So, I don't know. really difficult today, but it does re look really nice because it's again a totally different ve vegetation. So, that's all wine yards and also some mountains. It's, it's pretty beautiful. Here, a lot of people are camping, so yeah, I understand why they're here. And yeah, we are nearly on our point to get something to eat. We already got into this place, but we need to get into the village, you know. And yeah, then we're gonna get something to eat. And yeah, whew, kind of difficult today. This is by far the most deserted place I've been to here on our tour. And yeah, we're in search of a restaurant, but it seems that everything is closed but the supermarket. So there are three restaurants here and back there was one closed, here's one closed and down there here two more. I think this might be open. We just got to this restaurant. It's one of two that's open but it's definitely cheaper than the other one. The cheapest thing to eat there was 35 euros, so really expensive. Yeah, now we're in this little place, it's quite deserted, but it's nice, it's the only place for a, a whole tour this day where you can eat something, so we'll eat here, chill out some time, and then we're gonna push on to Le Lavandou, and there's still some, like, 20 kilometers to go, but it is all on the road, so it's kind of hard, but you really push through, because the cars are catching you. <laughs> we just ate at a delicious pizza and now we're off to Le Lavandou again on this really dangerous road but we're taking uh, another one. Oh, there comes a the car. We're taking another route over the mountain and yeah hopefully there will be less cars. It's more height meter but yeah it's safer. We are now gonna leave this street behind 
and yeah we're taking this road down here and we're gonna walk all the way the hill up there till to get to Lavandu. We just found out we went one too early to the left. Nico took again the wrong exit. Yeah, here we are, but look at this nice beautiful view here. So <coughs> we have decided that we're gonna take the more dangerous one, the longer one over the street because on the other one there's no possible way to skate so it would have been 13 kilometers walking straight so I prefer 16 kilometers on this big street but skating and now comes the more hilly part so it will be tougher than before Yeah, we are here sitting in the middle of nowhere some, somewhere between Saint-Tropez and Lille La Vendou. And it's so hot, it's horrible because the cars are going so fast on the street and uh, we're so tired. After like one hour of uh, break, we're now ready to go on to move on to Le Lavandou. There's still 13 kilometers to go. And yeah, it's still really hot, but yeah, we need to push through. And the guy who lives here <laughs> told us that it's not allowed to go now into the woods so it was better we took the road over the street than through the woods because yeah I guess it's really dangerous right now because it could cause a wildfire if I would see a picture of this landscape I wouldn't say it will be France I would say it's like Canada or something so it's quite cool to skate for here <laughs> to see something new of France and never knew they had something in their country. Really nice. There was a, there was a motorbike, a man with his wife and it was really funny because he stopped and he said like, come on, here, put your hands here and I push you up. <laughs> yeah, they pulled us up, but they were too fast so we need to, we told them to slow down and they didn't slow down so yeah, we just let them go. But if you see this, thank you very much for those. 20 meters, it was great. <laughs> it's time for the Mario Kart
Better. <laughs> How are your shoes? My shoes? Look pretty good. I think in Marseille I'm going to buy new ones. In Marseille? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we just got here to our hotel. We made it. We made this really dangerous day, but we got here. We're like 40 kilometers today, but it was tough because of the sun. And yeah, we made it here. And I just found out that my backpack uh, uh, broke a little bit. Look. <coughs> So uh, I guess I need to tape it down or something because otherwise everything will fall out and yeah, let's see. And yeah, this was for today, see you tomorrow.